Hi there everybody, it's Julie the Whippy Chick and I thought I'd meet with you today here at the beautiful park. It is still winter, it's just the very end of February, but it's a little bit warmer today. The sun is shining and it's supposed to be up in the 40s. So I thought let's get out of the house and uh, get a new viewpoint. So a big shout out to my son Pete who is here helping me today. He's making sure the tripod doesn't tip over and pushing the buttons for me a little bit. <laughs> so thanks Pete. So the first thing I thought we'd talk about today is a finished project that I have. Um, I started this project last week. Actually, I think it was a week ago on Monday. And it's another lined baby blanket. I'm not really feeling it. Um, I, I looked really closely at the lining that I was going to use and I went to this store and I bought the, the yarn that matched really well. But there's just something about it that I'm just not feeling. <laughs> But I'll show it to you anyway. Um, I've been calling it the llama blanket mostly because the lining has llamas all over it. I'll see if I can get it a little closer. Maybe you can see better. Little llamas on it. And um, I did use a little motif on this side. I'm not sure if you can see the, the hearts or not. Um, I thought outside would be the best place to look at it since it's nice and bright out here. Um, but there's little heart motifs and the filet crochet. So yeah, like I said though, I, I'm just not really feeling it. I'm not sure if it's the colors or the scrappiness of it. I just don't know. But I wanted to talk about that a little bit because that happens from time to time. You'll be working on a project and you have this picture in your head of what it's going to look like and you're really excited about it. Um, but then when you're done, it's just not how you pictured it. And that happens sometimes. It doesn't happen a lot to me anyway, but it does happen. And I think it's important to remember that we just keep pushing past that and go into the next project. If you didn't really enjoy it, move on, go to the next project. And uh, that one will most likely turn out better. So that is this week's project. I've been calling it the llama blanket, but maybe I should have called it the car blanket because 80% of the crocheting that got done on this blanket was done in the car, either on my lunch break or on a little road trip that uh, my family took yesterday. So I actually have pictures that I'm going to uh, put into the video of me crocheting in different places in the car. It's kind of silliness really, but that's how that blanket got made. Got made a lot in the car. So the next thing I want to talk about are upcoming projects because at this very moment, precise moment, this will probably change by this evening, but I have nothing on the hooks and I have nothing on the needles. I have no whips. It's very rare for that to happen, but like I said, it won't last. So um, one project that I want to start is a knitting project and it's actually with this beautiful yarn that I bought at Bing String Theory the other day. Bing String Theory is a beautiful yarn shop near my home. And um, I saw this Luminosa yarn and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll put it up close, hopefully you can see that. Um, Luminosa, it's got a, a little shine to it, which I'm a total sucker for shine, sparkle and bright colors. But there's a little shine of a teal blue in this. And I just thought it was beautiful. And there was a project there that um, the owner of the shop had done and I fell in love with it. It was a little capelet. So she uh, gave me the pattern and I bought the yarn. And so I'm gonna give that a try. That's a knitting project. This one's gonna be interesting because I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I have never used yarn from a skein like this. I actually had to Google how to um, use a skein like this. And apparently you open it up and um, unroll it and make it into a ball. So I'm afraid to do anything with it here at the park. So I'm just gonna put that in the bag and we'll start working on that maybe tonight. We'll see. Okay. Okay, so there's that. That's my shishi poo poo yarn. That's just a, a little phrase I use for any yarn that costs more than $5 skein. <laughs> So shishi poo poo yarn. 
It is beautiful though. I, I don't usually buy yarn that's expensive um, for most of the projects I do because most of the projects I do are for like little baby blankets and uh, maybe afghans for the couch. And, um, but for fancy scarves and things, I'm willing to spend a little extra, a little splurge. So the last project I have, you guys are gonna think this is crazy when you see it because this thing is very 70s and very old and I'm sorry but it's very ugly and stained and falling apart. Check it out. <laughs> it's got big holes in it. Um, it's got stains on it but what it is is um, it's a bath mat that my grandmother made gosh it had to be in the mid 70s i can remember this thing being in her house like my entire childhood um, my sister is very sentimental especially when it comes to my grandmother and she kept this thing now she doesn't knit or crochet in fact none of my sisters knit and crochet and i have five sisters and i'm the only one who knits i'm the only one who crochets um, but my sister loves this silly thing she does not have it displayed in her house it's been in a box or a bag or something in her closet for years and um, when she told me she still had it I said let me see it I'd like to try to recreate it for you so you can actually use it she'll still keep this one I know because that's how she is she's like I said very sentimental but I went to Michael's yesterday and I did get some yarn and trying to match up the colors so I got blue and these are Super Savers by Red Heart. Nothing expensive for this project. The purple, I noticed that at some point my grandmother had purple tassels on the bottom of it, so I did need purple. Um, teal, this teal is a little brighter than the teal in that project, but we're gonna give it a go. These are probably so faded, it's hard to tell what colors they were, to be honest. Uh, there is a little pink in it and a little white in it, so with all of my super saver here i'm going to try to recreate that bath mat for my sister and hopefully that will make her happy and make her feel like grandma made it i'm not grandma but i'll do my best and i think that is about it for this week i'm really really happy that you came to meet me here at the park um, it's really nice to be outside out of the darkness and into the sunlight once again so I will talk to you next week. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and all the youtube -y stuff um, and help me grow my channel a little bit. I'd appreciate that a lot. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.